Hey guys, so I figured I would do a little unboxing. Um, I did get this not that long ago. You guys know mail has been super delayed, especially with COVID and Christmas and tons of online ordering. So this is the Glossy Box, a Black Friday box. I think I've only had it in my possession maybe a week and a half. It was definitely like before, right before Christmas. And then I got so busy because of the holidays. So I figured um, I am not subscribed to the Glossy Box. So that's why I think it's worth to show this. If you guys are not subscribed to Glossy Box, it's not that I don't want to be subscribed to Glossy Box. I really enjoy Glossy Box, but I have to really limit my subscriptions. I already um, stopped two boxes. You guys will see that in those videos, and I may even be stopping a few more. But Glossy Box, I like that they give the option. They do a few times a year, quite a bit actually. They do special boxes. You only pay five dollars more as a non-member, so I don't have the monthly commitment, and I can still enjoy Glossy Box. So I think if you were a uh, Glossy Box member, you get this box for 20 And if because I am not a Glossy Box member, I pay 25 So they did this option for Black Friday. They did an option for a Christmas box. And now they're doing like a mystery box. So I ordered all those. This one is the Black Friday one. So this, even though this particular box is not available anymore, you can, just to show you guys an idea of what you would get if you guys decide you want to do future boxes with glossy whether that be the subscription or just the boxes they offer here and there so th this is my first time opening one i do have their advent calendar but this is the first time me opening like just like what you would get in a subscription box and i've heard that their boxes and their packaging is beautiful so i'm really excited i know these i've always i know people love that it's a pull tab so you literally just pull it no scissors required and let's see the beauty that is inside Oh, yes, it's coming to me now because I did watch some unboxings. Some, like, influencers unboxing people I got it before Black Friday. So it's, it was kind of nice. It was to see if it was worth your $25 or not. And I remember it being chock full of stuff. And honestly, Glossy Box is one of those boxes you can save. It is so beautiful. Um, So sometimes it's worth it just for the box, honestly. I love Galaxy. This is gorgeous. And I do have a blue theme in my room. This would definitely tie in. This touches a blue. Purple is my favorite color. I have a purple bathroom and a purple dining room. I oh, love it and it just has their little logo and it says glossy box I am trying to use more of my rear facing camera uh just because it's better quality so it just sucks because I can't really see so let's hope this is all in center I did like tons of test shots all right so you open the box and this is what you see I know I've seen this in all their unboxes they always have like a cute little bow so you literally just untie it and you get to see all the magic inside. So it says Black Friday limited edition. And then it always has this signature tissue paper that matches the box. Let me just see if this gives you a breakdown of what's inside. So it does. Okay, so that's awesome. Always love that, especially for an unboxing channel. I can tell you guys what the items are worth. And literally, just like the first few things I see, over 20 bucks. So that's already the cost of the box. And as you guys can see, this box is chock full of stuff. So let's just grab the first thing I see, CBD. That always interests me. You guys are going to see, I'm going to do, like I said, things are taking a while to come in. I have gotten some things already and I've already had some stuff filmed. So this will all be going up soon. I think I am going to be doing videos Monday through Friday to kind of catch up a little bit in throughout January. We'll see. So this is a CBD soothing bath bomb. The reason I brought that up is because I have another CBD product I bought on a Black Friday sale that I'm super excited to show you guys. So it says it has 200 milligrams of CBD and it says it is lavender. The only thing that sucks for me is because I don't take baths. So I do have a friend, her birthday's in January. I was thinking about making her a gift basket, so I may give this to her. But I've heard that CBD bath bombs are amazing. They're super relaxed. You get, the, like, the best sleep of your life afterwards. So I'm kind of bummed that I can't try this. I don't know if it'd be the same if I put it on a shower. A lot of times if I do get bath bombs, I, like, do give them away. Or sometimes I will save some to put in a basin for my feet. But for a CBD, it's not worth it. I can do Dollar Tree ones for that. You guys tell me if, you th if you've ever tried this, if you think it's worth me trying it in the shower. I don't know. But it just says it's a richly scented, decadent CBD-infused bath bomb that explodes with lavender essential oil. And I love lavender. Hawaiian black salt to soften and detox the skin. And it says no dyes that irritate your skin or stain the tub. And it's 99% pure CBD, naturally scented, organically grown, non-GM. Oh, pita and cruelty-free and vegan. We always love that. And it literally shows you what the bomb looks like. It literally just says drop in warm water. 
swirling it around the tub or playing with it as it slowly fizzes while you relax. Let me just smell. I'm just curious if it smells like lavender. You can smell it. It's probably, I'm sure the smell is stronger as it's in the water because it is wrapped in plastic. So it's a little extra protection. I know some people don't really like the smell of lavender. I love lavender. Let's see the next thing. I got. And this alone is $8. I know bath bombs with CBD definitely go for more. And I think that's one of the only products. No, there's a few others that are in the single digits. This is one of them. This is a dry shampoo by Colab. It has a moising amazing oil absorption without the white residue and it's the original fragrance this is full size and it is worth $5.49 I love dry shampoos I only wash my hair once a week today is today's not the greatest example because when did I wash this Friday and today's Monday so and it, I mean it still looks great I haven't even done dry shampoo yet tomorrow will probably be my first dry shampoo day I usually do pretty good the first like three days um I kind of just want to smell it oh it says it's an award-winning dry shampoo Let's see. I don't want to waste too much of it, but oh, that smells really good. It just smells kind of like fresh and like powdery and I can't see. So I guess I'll see when I'm editing this video or when I'm done with the video. <laughs> if I have a white cast, you guys can comment below, um, but I will show you just so you can get an idea. I mean, you could always rub it a little bit in. White cast doesn't bother me too much because there is a way to remove that. But it does say no white cast on the can. Only reason I'm mentioning it. And I love this packaging. I love the all white with the, the love all over it. Super cute for a little Valentine's Day basket. If you know a man who uses dry shampoo or a woman. Or if you're making a basket for your daughter, your friend, whatever. Love is for all, not just for uh, couples. Let's see. Let's see the next thing I grab. Oh, I love Ciate London. I remember this. Yes, it's the Stamp and Drag Drag Liner Duo. It's $19. So this makes a winged tip liner. I am just starting to get into makeup, so I've never actually done a winged tip. So this will be perfect for me to get to practice using that. Um, I will show it to you guys just so you guys get an idea of how it works. It is black. I love black eyeliner. I've always loved the winged eye look. I'm just always so scared to try. I'm so scared to like branch out. I do very uh, minimalist makeup. I do like colors on my eyes. So I do do like kind of crazy colors. And if you guys have seen some eyeshadow palette hauls I've done, you definitely have seen that. But I don't do like falsies or um, winged tip liners or anything like that. So it is double sided. That is the liner side. And then that is the stamp side. And if you guys, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on my camera, but it goes like thin to thick. So it literally wings out. So you would literally just make sure the thin side is out and stamp it in the corner of your eye, flip over, and then just make the line. So this is perfect for someone like me who is new to this kind of stuff, or even people that are really good at this kind of stuff, if you just want something quicker and easier. So I am super excited to get this, and I already know I love the brand. Um, I've never even heard of Ciate London until I started receiving um, Ipsy, and I have loved everything I've received from them, and it is like a cruelty-free brand, which I really appreciate. So again, this was valued at $19. I love that packaging too of the eyes and it just says create flawless winged liner looks with this double ended stamp and liner duo. So that's already three items and I still have so much in this box. So the next thing is a set of tweezers. Yeah, I remember this item because I was like, oh, now the tweezer, I have so many tweezers, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, obviously, it's a full size product and it just says expertly shape your brows with a classic slant tip tweezer and um, it is worth $6.00. Oh, tip tweeze after showering the hairs will slip out more easily that kind of does make sense because i know hot water opens up your pores that's why they say you're better off putting your skincare on after you wash your face with warm water like serums and moisturizers so it really gets in there so that actually makes a lot of sense i never thought about it that way it is pink i really love pink i was just gonna say but i don't have a pink tweezer but i actually do i got it in another box um and then the rest of mine are like silver but it's always good. I honestly have one like in my purse, in my car, in my vanity, on my bedside table because I do have a few. So I just have them in different spots. So sometimes when I see a stray hair or something, it's always good to have these. So cool with that. And that was valued at $6. And it is by 
basic that's funny it is a basic product shop basic beauty all right and then we have these two hair masks i absolutely love hair masks i remember when i saw the unboxing she was like oh rose it was one of my uh my favorite unboxers but i always get her name it's crafty something and i want to say crafty girl because there's a crafty girl youtuber i watch but she's dollar tree she, it's crafty something and I always forget I always want to say crafty girl but it's not you, if you guys know what I'm talking about definitely comment below but she hates the scent of rose so right away she was like oh rose but I realized obviously because like the cute wine cup packaging and there's a um a little um accent over the e it's actually rose so it's supposed to be like wine inspired oh and it is two different ones I wasn't sure it says unwind that's actually really cute because it's like a self-care day unwind relax but unwind because it's wine flavored so these are color protect deep conditioners this one says hydrate and it is it says brute rose and this one is revitalize and it says province rose so um they do have different things they do but they mostly have the same ingredients the only seems to be a difference is the Brute Rosé has a strawberry extract where the Provence Rosé has a watermelon extract. So um, they each have a wine extract, which says a packed with antioxidants to help rejuvenate, strengthen, and soften. They both have, oh my God, I don't even know how to say this, Reservatrol found in the skin of grapes and which helps protect and restore hair they both have grapeseed oil which is rich in vitamin e helps smooth hair cuticles and prevent fizz and they both have oh they do actually have rose it says rose extract helps deliver hydration but i know there was a lot of comments saying it's not as rosy as you think so and i remember her saying that she didn't it didn't bother her and she hates rose so if you're someone who hates a rose if you want to try these out it doesn't seem like it's too much rose if you like even like even to give away a cute little gift basket with some wine like how cute would that be in a wine glass i think these are super cute they are 1.8 ounces and they are valued at 3.99 each and obviously you just apply to wet hair after you shampoo and you leave on for five to ten minutes so i will be throwing these in my bathroom afterwards i can't believe how many products i still have in here so this is obviously not a full size the full size would be worth $38. This is a deluxe mini and is a glow formula skin hydrator. It says the brightening moisturizer infused with pomegranate extracts and illuminating minerals. Your skin will be hydrated and protected. And it says tip after cleansing, apply to skin from your face to your neck. Use daily, morning and night for best results. The full size is 50 ml. This is 5 ml. And it's, I know this brand is very pricey. I never know how to say it. Kiehl's, K-I-E-H-L-S. So um, I can use that. I always look for good moisturizers because I tend to have dry skin everywhere except kind of my forehead gets a little oily. Let's see what else we got in here. I see a box of gel lip pads oh my lips have been wicked dry too lately i mean that's normal in the summer so i'm excited to try this it is a full-size product it is valued at 29 dollars. also by look fantastic look fantastic is a sister company to glossy box um and it's the dr bobber hydro rx 3d hydro gel lip pads and it says obviously apply to clean and dry lips and remove after 10 to 15 minutes. It was developed to care for the sensitive skin of the lips. Its cooling effect and hyaluronic acid provides a plumping hydration. I know hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin. So and it hydrates the skin. So it makes sense it would do the same for the lips. I was just curious if it said how many it had. It says it has four pieces. So that would be cool for me to try with the way my lips have been lately. I literally just bought a lip scrub the other day because I'm like I need to do something about these crusty lips. <laughs> oh my god. That same girl, crafty, whatever, I should know her name. Um, she was so excited to receive this. She says she loves this so much that she 
she got it in the full size if i remember correctly or she got it in a past box and loved it so much she was considering buying the full size so she was so happy to have another little sample again and i find these to be so stinking cute uh, i love like just keeping them out on my vanity i used to until i got a cat it is a deluxe mini and it's arizona either perfume blooming with a white cactus accord and a unique mineral signature this fragrance will give you a feeling of adventure beauty and mystery spritz a few times on the neck elbow creases and wrists for a long lasting effect the full size would be a hundred dollars i remember her saying it would be like a very expensive perfume i find it so cute it comes in a little box too um so the full size obviously i just said a hundred dollars but it would be 50 ml and this one is 5 ml so same as that little hydrating cream that we got so oh you know what maybe i should smell it i shouldn't just trust her just because she loved it but honestly i'm not that picky guys I know some people, oh, that sucks. So I know some people are really picky with scents. I'm not, I'm just not like a super musky person. I'm more into like florals and sweets, but there's some muskies I can like. But anyway, the reason I said, oh man, because I thought it had like a little sprayer and it doesn't. It's almost like just completely open and you kind of have to push your skin into it. So I just put on one wrist and I'll rub my wrists together. And it does smell really, really good. So, um... You just got to be careful when you open that if you do receive this product either in this box or other boxes because like i said i think she did get it in another box and it is made in france and you get quite a bit that thing was full to the top i spilled some and it still looks full okay still got more products in here guys i got oh my god i don't even know how to say this rov rovacetin r-o-v-e-c-t-i-n it is a deluxe mini the full size would have been 29 dollars and it says it's a treatment lotion. Hmm. Uh, it says this vegan anti-aging barrier repair complex is a powerful toner. Oh, I love toner. And essence that moisturizes the skin while evening texture and neutralizing free radicals. Dense skin cells are exfoliated to restore your skin's brightness. Post-cleansing, dispense a dyed size amount into your palm and massage over face until absorbed. Toning is one of my favorite parts of my skincare routine. My skin feels so like luxurious after a tone. Like sometimes when you cleanse, you still have that little layer of film and I just feel so good after a good toner. So super excited to receive this. The full size would have been $29. The next product is a full size. I wasn't 100% sure because it is very small. Uh, but it is a vitamin C serum and it is one ounce. So it's a lot of skincare products are usually like one ounce and this can be a full size. Um, packed with antioxidant protection, this oil-based serum focuses on removing free radicals in sun-exposed skin. It's vegan hyaluronic acid and botanical ingredients plump and protect the skin while fading discoloration. I have gotten some vitamin serums in boxes. I keep saying, oh, I'm so excited I got this. I want to incorporate it because I know it's supposed to be really good with that fading discoloration. As you guys see, I do have a lot of acne marks, but yet I still haven't got it into my routine. Uh, I'm very good at saying I'm going to do this and not doing it. Uh, I'm trying to work on that for 2021. Uh, lately, I haven't even been doing my normal skincare routine. I was on vacation. It just went out the window. And so I definitely got to get back into that. And I think I will incorporate this right away. So it becomes more of a habit. Um, but basically, after cleansing and patting the skin dry, you apply a small amount to the entire face and neck and decolletage. And it is valued at $28. It literally says, reface me. I hate these acne marks too. So I would be really excited if those could disappear. And then the last thing, I like I said, I am not super oily except for my forehead. So, I mean, this will be useful. But if you're someone who's not oily like at all, it's not really useful. Um, and it is a sample size because the full size would have 15 sheets. I remember this from when I saw the um, unboxing but you get three sheets. So, I mean, it's this was definitely nice because a lot of times you would only get one and it wouldn't be like in this packaging. You would just literally get one of these foil packets. So I like this because it literally explains what the product is and how to use it. And then, like I said, you get three of them. So it's definitely good. And a lot of times when you get one, it's like, did it really work? Did it do what it was supposed to do? With a product like this, you would know with one use, but like serums and stuff like that, uh, little tiny lotions like this. Are you really gonna know? I'm not sure. Um, 
but even like this with like the little bit of toner it's harder to tell serums yeah because your little goes a long way with them but at least this you get to try it three times and they are individually packed. You can throw them in your purse. Very convenient. And it's basically a beauty blotter plus translucent powder. So, you know, it helps give you touch-ups and you blot away any oil that's on your skin. So that's why it says best of both worlds because it is loaded with translucent powder. So it sucks up the oil and leaves that translucent powder behind. And it says it absorbs seven times oil compared to what, though? It doesn't really explain that. And, um... It even says set and reset your makeup. I guess because it has the translucent powder. And it's available at CVS. So that's kind of cool. So that's CVS is everywhere. So if anyone you guys want to get your hands on it. Uh, completely recyclable, disposable, and single use. Designed to go anywhere and fit in your pocket. It says recyclable, cruelty free, and wind and solar powered. Very interesting. So like I said, I will get used to these just because of my forehead does get a little oily sometimes. But that is everything. But that was tons of stuff. So I got three of the blotting sheets. A vitamin C serum, a sample size toner, a cute little sample size perfume that actually was quite full. I got a set of tweezers, uh, the eyeliner with the stamp to make the cat eye. So I'm super excited about that because it's something I've always wanted to do and never like tried yet. The lip masks, full size, over $20 per uh, retail comes with four which right now is much needed with the dry skin in the summer i mean in the winter two hair masks which again really needed right now in the winter my hair is super dry both full size items four dollars each i know this alone was again over 20 something dollars you definitely get your money worth and you get a lot of items that's one two three four five six seven eight unless you count each blotting strip that's another three you know this little sample size hydrating cream the cbd bath bomb and the dry shampoo so what's that like 11 things and if you count the multiple sheets it's even more than that for 25 dollars in this very gorgeous box so that is everything i got in the black friday glossy box i will be showing you guys the christmas one and my mystery ones as they come in so definitely subscribe if you want to um see those when they get here and they are unboxed on my channel so hit the notification bell so you're notified when i when it uploads and this is an awesome subscription box if you're someone who doesn't want to subscribe because they do give you the option not every month but here and there you get the option to um buy it without being a, uh, a subscriber which i really appreciate because it's hard you know you lose track you have so many boxes and that's so you have the option to get it when you want but that is basically it. If you guys like the video, if you like Glossy Box, any of those things, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my YouTube channel. Definitely consider subscribing. I was kind of hoping I'd hit 100 subscribers by January 1st, and I'm three away, sadly. <laughs> but it is what it is. I do love interacting with you guys. Comment down below what would be your favorite product out of this. Again, like I said, do you think it's worth me trying this in the shower? I am really curious. But if it's not, I definitely will give it to a friend because you guys know i don't really take bats but that is basically it i always link my instagram down below if you guys are interested i do post a lot on instagram day to day what i'm doing little hauls here and there if i don't feel like doing a full sit down video for it but that's it for this video guys so be safe